What's up, you guys? I got a message for somebody. There is some insane chemistry between you and somebody else here if this message is for you. So one of the songs that I got before I started recording was Never Be The Same, uh, Camila Cabello. Yeah, I think that's how you say that. Okay, so <clears throat> now that song is, I love that song, but it is kind of crazy because um, here we're talking about addiction and love calls. So this is some kind of this could be crazy. I'm feeling like because she talks about like nicotine, heroin, morphine. Uh, yeah, just check out the song. But she's talking about being addicted to somebody. Then we got which I don't know if that's good or you know what I'm saying. So we got the Ace of Cups here at the bottom of this deck over here also the tattoo tarot and what i was getting is that <clears throat> somebody could have a lot of tattoos because this card here was making me think of like a strange tattoo all right so well before i start with this deck though so we got mask seduction and grim reaper that came out first somebody's not showing their true feelings here okay but there's a lot of um physical attraction here with the grim reaper i feel like you know this is something that is kind of, it's a up and down kind of connection that you have with somebody so it's like maybe you hook up and you don't hear from each other or i don't know it's kind of crazy so like i said yeah you could be mirroring each other meaning <clears throat> you're both going through similar situations uh <clears throat> in other words like you you may not, it doesn't, you may not be together or you might be, you could be together. Um, but if you're not, then you're going through similar situations, possibly, you know, wherever you are. Good grief. There's a horn honking. Hold on. Okay. It's not for me. All right. So let's see what, what needs to be known at the time or just whatever comes out. All right. So, the Emperor with Judgment, 222 on the timer. So, use your discernment here, okay? Yeah, I do feel like this is somebody, all right, with the Eight of Cups and the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Wow. Okay, so this is somebody who, you might have walked away from this person, okay? Because here, well, it could go either way. Like I said, because there's no gender in tarot, so I'm not sure which side of this you're on. Could be, you know, same sex even for some of y'all. But uh, somebody walked away here, okay? And then we got the Knight of Cups with the Five of Wands, another Five of Wands, and then the Empress. So I feel like there's a lot of competition for you also is now what I'm getting now. All right, something is about to change here with this wheel. What are these? Okay. Hold on, you guys. I don't know what I just did. Um. Okay. So these cards were turned around the wrong way at the bottom of the day. We got the King of Wands with the Eight of Wands. Did you block somebody? <laughs> did you block somebody? Oh, my gosh. Somebody wants you to unblock them. <laughs> or something like that. That might not be for everybody, but... That's what was somebody, somebody, not another wheel of fortune. Oh my goodness. What? Look at this, the high priestess with the two of cups at the bottom of the deck. Um, This is like some, some kind of destined something here. What is going on? Or somebody feels like you are, you, oh my gosh, here we go. Now, yesterday, these same cards kind of came out together, okay? I remember there was the Ten of Cups here, and then there was the two Five of Cups that came out together. So, that was another Ten Cups. So, this person is like 20 Cups, <laughs> 20 Cups in with you. Okay, we got the chariot here. A lot of water energy. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Mm, this person is like on their knees. Are they going to be on their knees? 
Okay, it looks like this person is addicted to you, okay? And then a horn honks. Um, this person might pull up. All right, for some of y'all. What in the world? Okay, the sun, Leo energy. You, I mean, yeah. You are like a, um, like a shot of energy or endorphins or oxytocin. I don't know what it is, but when you are around this person or when they're around you, it's like this, they don't, no one else makes them feel the way that you do. They definitely, you are their wish fulfillment. They definitely have not let go of you. And the four of pentacles can be uh, about addiction. We did get that addiction card. Now, the thing that was concerning me is uh, yesterday I got a couple of song messages, but there was a lot going on, so I just didn't pull cards yesterday. But <clears throat> Or I did once, but I didn't do another one, I think. But anyway, so there was this energy of somebody being in a really toxic situation. Um, let me see what the two songs were real quick. It won't take long, guys. And then with this other song, too, I'm like, okay. All right, so Locked Away featuring Adam Levine in Our City. Okay, what dreams are made of? Somebody could be dreaming about you. Um, and then this... Wait, is that the same song? <sighs> yes, it was another. Okay, here's the other one. And then the other one is Andrea Russett, Kink. And in that song, she says, my kink is mistreatment. And I want to know, are you staying or leaving? You should probably go. Okay. So, and then this other song, he says, if I got locked away and we lost it all today, tell me honestly, would you still love me the same? <laughs> Okay, so y'all gotta listen to those two songs. Hopefully, those don't have anything to do with that, but it is a little similar energy. And what what I'm getting like is, wow, that's some... Mm -mm. <laughs> okay, so it's all this back and forth energy, like going away, coming back type of energy, like somebody being maybe real dramatic and then somebody begging like i'm sorry type of, i don't know what is going on here okay but yeah let's see what needs to be known about this Ugh. all right this knight of wands okay has got that eye on you all right temperance with the knight of wands heavy sagittarius energy leo aries so again with the tattoos um with the two of wands i think that you dodged you could have dodged something they've got going on, though, seriously. Because it's like you're back here watching um, some kind of, you know, eruption going on back here. This could be a friend, okay? Unless this is a, like, there there was a lot of energy here of different people, like gossipy energy or maybe just competition, competing, jealousy. But there's more than one person here, so... They could have something that's going on with a friend right now, too. Okay. We got Temperance with the Queen of Cups. Um, more Sagittarius energy. The Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Aw. So. The King of Wands. All right. Tell me more about this situation please what is going on with it and then this card comes out so it's like this person whoever they whatever is going somebody here uh manifested some bull crap is what i'm getting because what they were involved in or something okay oh man with the eight of swords definitely it's like somebody Somebody got themselves caught up in a situation, all right, is what I'm getting here, okay? But I feel like that you you are far enough away from this situation where it's not going to affect you, so that's a good thing. So if this is somebody that you've been kind of staying away from, I feel like that was a good, you know, that was, if you were following your intuition on that, then you did right by doing that, okay? By um, blocking this person 
I'm getting, okay? Then with the Two of Cups, this soulmate energy coming out, all right? Now, so you might have had a, you might have felt a lot of things for this person, but you just saw, like, if they keep going on this same crap, you know, something is, something is bound to happen, is what I'm getting. Yeah. Sometimes with the Ace of Pentacles, um, mm, I don't know if I want to. <laughs> Sometimes the Ace of Pentacles, not this one, but some some Ace of Pentacles look like a badge to me. I'll show y'all one if I come across another one. But um, so somebody really just yeah, seem to get themselves caught up in some bull crap. Well, <clears throat> yeah, somebody's over here dealing with a lot, so I don't know who this is. Um that you got this strong connection with, but look. Oh, man. This person wants, it's like there's somebody here that wants you to be, um, and with that love call card, I'm getting for some of y'all, you may, this may be somebody that you heard from in jail or, you know, that won't be for many people, hopefully, but somebody, but... I'm just, I'm getting this energy of this person, like, pulls you, pulls you back in when your intuition is trying to tell you here, like, trying to remove the blindfold, like, and then she's got blindfolds on here, too. And this kind of reminds me of a, you know, a handcuff or something, so... I think that your your intuition and this could even be a like a your definitely it's your spirit team with the birds to just like trying to warn you about um if you are still dealing with this person that you could be missing opportunities here um be careful of pregnancy definitely here but it's like this person wants you whoever this person is whether it's this could be past, present, or future, but this this is somebody who wants you to be uh, like, if I got locked away and we lost it all today, would you still love me the same? So this person wants you to be their ride or die, and, you know, that's all good, but, but I'm feeling like this is the type of person who's always getting themselves into some bull crap. So that's not really fair because... They could just do better and not have you in a position where you're having to um, be waiting for a phone call from, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Always getting herself in some shit with the Wheel of Fortune again, okay? It's like, is that your goal here with the Two of Wands? Is your goal to, is it drama? Do you love the drama? Hmm, maybe. That can be a thing. <laughs> Ooh. Good Lord. All right, so we got the Ten of Swords with the Seven of Coins, which is the Seven of Pentacles. And then um, the Seven of Chalices, which is the Seven of Cups, and this Four of Swords here. So I feel like that, you know, something is going on with this person right now to where something that we're working on. You see these birds going up in the air and then... Yeah, it's like something that they threw up in the air or something they were working with, dealing with, is over with. Okay, with the two seven, something's ending here. Um, It's almost like spirit is, or the universe is making this person like sit down and think about it. Wow. Oh, yeah. Dang excuse me um we got the death card here with the five of wands so um my ear is ringing um so dang with the king of pentacles down here uh it's like the, all of this confusion and stuff that's been going on is coming to an end here it's almost like your your spirit team is <clears throat> not literally putting you in the boat and and taking you somewhere else but <clears throat> kind of, you know, 
energetically because this person uh so there could be there could be a situation that happens to where um you know something happens and you're just you can't see that person anymore uh because of whatever situation they got themselves into you know um so whatever happened or you know there could be some strange thing that happened where you One second, you guys. <laughs> All right, so some strange thing that happened. One second, and that's crazy. I'm saying that, and then the the phone is going off. Okay, so. Yeah, so something could have happened that um, just kind of led you on a down a different path, and that's because if you would have kept on, you know, with the with this person, whoever this is, then they just were getting themselves into a bunch of crap. Is what I'm getting. Okay, so I'm gonna pull some from the um, believe in your own magic deck. Oh, yeah. Happy Friday, y'all. Yeah, I hope y'all have a great weekend. Morning, the world awaits you. Yes. Princess, you can be your own knight. Well, definitely, okay. For sure. Because this one here, honey. Woo-wee. Mm-mm. Tower, yeah. While they're going through some tower moment, you're going to be unplugging and relaxing, okay? Sipping your tea because you were not involved in whatever this was, okay? <laughs> whatever. Something that was going on, it's like, you're done. You know, chill out. All right. Take control of your narrative here with the library. Master number 22. Oh, well, that was a lot. Dragon, slay them all. Okay. Okay. Slay all of your dragons. <laughs> <clears throat> all right. Rain jobs. Take a chance on them. Take a chance on who? Number 39. I, I rebuke it. <laughs> Take a chance on Uh-uh. This could be talking about taking a chance on somebody else, okay? But, you know, it's all up to you in the end. All right. Potion, remember to practice self-love. Yeah, take a chance on yourself, all right? Whoever this person is here, I don't know. They're going to have to... Mm -mm. Okay, y'all, use your own intuition. <laughs> Number 16, be fire. Stand up for yourself. Stand up for yourself. All right, sword, make the change. We had the sword and the rose earlier, too. Um, I'm going to pull some from the sacred forest. Make the change. Um, I feel like it's talking about standing up for yourself. I may pull some more on that. Take a chance on them, all right? Okay. Maybe this is somebody who's changed, okay? Let's see. What is the take a chance on them about? Because for some of y'all, there could be a lot of crap going on with family situations, too. I'm getting. So, this could be more than one connection I'm seeing here. Yeah, with this five of wands. There's a lot going on, I feel like. The devil, yeah. As far as, and then the tower, take a chance on them. Mm-mm. Maybe they want you to take a chance on them. The nine of wands, the five of wands, and the devil with the knight of pentacles. No, this person is just going to slow you down and keep you in confusion, okay? And then probably, um, I was going to say walk away, but that's not the eight of cups. That's the eight of pentacles. It's like working on heartbreak. What in the world? No. The spirit is like, get off the roller coaster with this person, okay? So... 
Now, for some of y'all, this could be a past energy thing. All right, so I'm going to get a couple from the Sacred Forest, and then I'm going to close this out. You guys, I will never contact you about any services in my comments. I will never message you about... It's hard to get in touch with me, as a matter of fact. <laughs> I don't do a lot of personal readings because it's kind of draining. Um, So, if somebody is being really aggressive with you, messaging you, contact you in the comments, they may even have my same name and my picture, you guys. I apologize for that, but it's not me. If you do want to get a personal reading with me, um, you can message me through Facebook, IG... Okay, just make sure it's me. All right, Stag Spirit Leadership, number 39. This is giving me like deer in the headlights type thing. And so I think Spirit is saying like, don't, don't let this person get you caught up in their bull crap and then be surprised when it turns out like crap, okay? Now that could be the energy that they're in. Like they are always into some chaos and then it's like, when the when the crap goes down, when the, when the crap hits the fan, they're like, "What happened? What just happened?" <laughs> I can't say I can't say I haven't been in that situation before. I gotta be honest. All right, so <clears throat> eagle spirit freedom. This is beautiful energy here with the leadership and freedom. So dear. An eagle could be significant. Well, this looks like um, it's time for you to have some fun here with elves at the bottom of the deck. Like maybe you've been working really hard on something here. Moonlight enchantment with magic has showed up twice. So I'm going to show that to y'all. <clears throat> Let me get one more, please. Aw, bear spill it. Spill it. Spirit healing. So number 39, number 13, and number four could be significant. And also an eagle, a bear, and a deer, and a dragonfly. I think that with this change in healing, I think that you're, um, yeah, you're definitely, and I'm seeing 22, 22 on the clock. You, whatever this is that you've been through, you're transmuting it all here and you're changing okay you're healing the the same person that whoever this is oh i'm i don't you know what i don't even know what to say about that connection i, th <laughs> I think you already know what's up with it to be honest okay i think it's something that you're gonna heal from get stronger from and i think that you could be being protected from a certain person here okay so is this a pegasus I'm just noticing that too. It looks like a plane down there a little bit. That's okay. That's interesting. Y'all, I'm sorry my nails look like crap. Um, I'm trying to let them breathe a little bit, but I might break down and put on some nails today. Y'all, I hope you have a great weekend. Let me know if it resonated. Please hit the like, subscribe, follow, and all that stuff. I will be back later. Bye.